hope you are having a fabulous day. Last weekend, I walked all around down to Brooklyn. I walked over seven miles for four to five hours with very little breaks because I'm crazy. <laughs> I just wanted to see everything. After all of that though, my legs were so sore and I think I pulled a hamstring. Like. Who pulls a hamstring walking? <laughs> and I want you to really understand how much I walked. So look at this map. I went from the Atlantic Terminal to the Brooklyn Bridge and walked all the surrounding neighborhoods near the bridge. Well, not all, but a lot of them. And then back to the Atlantic Terminal. It's interesting to see the change of demographics the more downtown you go. So near the Atlantic Terminal, it is predominantly black, but then it slowly gets more and more diverse as you go. I was expecting downtown to be very white with gentrification, but every color underneath the sun was down there, which was beautiful to see. And so many people were speaking different languages. Ugh. I need to become bilingual. But there's still hope because my Latin dance team primarily speaks Spanish. So one day I will understand every sentence they say. Everywhere you go, someone has something for you to buy. The views from the bridge were sick. In a way, it is better visiting Brooklyn and Jersey so that you get to see all of the buildings in Manhattan. When you are in Manhattan, you just can't have the same level of appreciation. Also, I'm showing you amazing views right now, so you better be subscribed and add a like and comment while you're at it. This sweet Turkish guy told me I had great teeth and asked for my number so that we could go traveling together. New York City always boosts my ego. <laughs> This is the neighborhood next to the Brooklyn Bridge. I would not recommend eating this close to the Brooklyn Bridge because these lines are ridiculous. I was 
so afraid seeing those rain clouds. Because my silly self forgot an umbrella, even though I knew the forecast was rain. (sighs) But by the grace of God, it didn't. This park is way less crowded than the bridge with equally great views and there is even a picnic area. This is the Pier 2 Park, and it has roller skating, handball, basketball, and soccer. I need to go back to actually roller skate and not just walk around it because it is so scenic and would be amazing to be doing a fun activity right next to the East River. But (laughs) I hope I wouldn't, if I was skating on the outside, fall off and land in the East River. all of that walking your girl's hungry that ice cream can't hold this long and so here I am at Junior's Cafe the burger was surprisingly so fresh like the lettuce the actual burger meat amazing and when I told my parents about today's adventures they said they've been here when they were my age It made me feel so connected to them being at their old stomping ground. (laughs) I'm such a loser. (laughs) Well, that is a wrap on my downtown Brooklyn adventures. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.